little ways in the shop, but the road's handling very well. I'm, I'm staying mostly dry. A few wires are coming in. Feeling good. It's actually quite nice out the rain's falling. The uh, wind has died down. I'm gonna be so. Here we go, a tight fit at the hole in the wall, just outside of Perry Sound. Holding onto my phone uh, really solid right now because not even a week ago, I went to put my phone back in my bag and uh, fumbled out of my hands and sunk to the bottom of Georgian Bay, I guess 30 feet down. I, I went diving for it, but couldn't find it because it was too dark. So I spent three days under there and uh, I found a guy who was willing to go for a dive and search for it based on my GPS coordinates, just from judging it, winging it. And he ended up finding it uh, about 75 feet from where I dropped a pin on a Google map. And uh, it's still working. It was inside this case, but uh, amazingly the phone, you know, no water damage, the waterproof case worked. I'm filming this on it right now, so I'm stoked. It's uh, day 31 of Roots of Change. Here we are in Georgian Bay. Where exactly are we, Teet? Uh, we're at Bing Inlet at the headquarters of Sea and Rescue in case we have a problem. How's the paddling going so far? Paddling is good. Sea is nice. Today, no winds. Yesterday, no rain. Life is wonderful, except for the two mosquitoes. <laughs> Just the two? <laughs> Just the two, that's the only ones I killed. I think yesterday we paddled about 40 kilometers, is that right? I think we did some good mileage yesterday and we're gonna continue with good mileage today, tomorrow, etc. We set a new all-time record for getting to Killarney. <laughs> I think that might just happen. We have uh, really good conditions looking, looking coming our way. Um, some light winds today. south of the French River and we're paddling into that. Um, that's blowing towards us and it's blowing right into this, which I think could lead to some interesting weather. Possibly some thunderstorms. Thankfully we have some uh, protected land ahead of us for the next 5k and Teet has just snacked so he's well charged. What do you think? He's recharged. Day 34, fruits of change. And we're in Killarney. We made it from Kilbear Park to Killarney in I think less than four days paddling. How many kilometers is that? Well, I figured it was pretty close to 140 to 165 kilometers of actual paddling. And I thought I was going on a senior citizen's cruise, but it, Marcus made it a little different, I think. I made it different. You were the one who was pushing us. <laughs> well, I want to schedule. <laughs> Story well, of my life. <laughs> but we're two days ahead of schedule, Teet. <laughs> Excellent, Marcus. Excellent. We're going to cut your five years down to four now. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I was I was definitely a bit concerned about this stretch of water coming up Georgian Bay from Perry Sound to, to Killarney here because there's a lot of open water. But uh, the weather coordinated quite well and we, we had the first really windy day that sort of prevented us from going much farther, but 
Well, the windy days made life exciting, but, but it worked all, all out for the best, I think. Good yeah. luck, good weather, and uh, good craftsmanship and series by the uh, navigator, Marcus. Oh, stop not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was great. That was great. You, uh, well, you I'm really performed good. admirably. Well, thank you. Well, I mean, I must say, like, you paddled for longer hours and more kilometers a day than anybody else previous. You, out, you out-paddled Rain, Jeremy, and Dave. Wow, what a compliment. Nice and, work. And I wasn't even trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was great. Great yeah. journey. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, I just uh, said goodbye to Teet, who's uh, 74 years old, and he paddled extremely, extremely well. I uh, probably made our most kilometers a day paddling with him. He just, he just wanted to give her, which is wonderful. And we paddled through some of the most beautiful country, actually. Georgian Bay, I never knew how beautiful it was. Just an amazing rock granite islands covered with uh, lichens and just, a, just unbelievable campsites with nobody around. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. Peace. plan last night was to row throughout the night, but at about one in the morning, the, uh, the wind picked up and the waves picked up and the visibility got poor. And then I started seeing sea monsters.